Uh, 2037 uh, is a saddle up. Uh, believe in me. Um, and uh, safe word, grandmother would have raised the fourth overall, or the grand overall, excuse me, at Michigan Livestock Expo and the sixth overall at Michigan Livestock Expo. Um, we like our, our saddle ups. We're breeding more sounds to him because uh, they just look like the kind that feed. Saddle up, homie. <laughs> Sorry, just taking a little extra minute taking this pig in. He's got some of the some of the things it takes to win. Uh, I, I like this one when he ran out here. A uh, pig that's uh, got the right kind of maturity pattern, I think. Uh, you step in behind this thing. He may be just a little green there in the seat of his pants, but I, I'm I'm really comfortable with this one. Uh, he looks like one you can take home and feed. And uh, In a world of pigs that like to screw up on you, I, I don't think this one's got much screw up in him. He just looks like a pig that uh, is going to stay sound out back, going to have the right kind of length of body. Uh, got a good swoop to his lower third there. Pig looks like he'd like to eat, like to convert. Uh, just one that uh, honestly doesn't have a lot of big question marks and looks like he can be there in the end. You know, in, in this industry now is, you know, normalcy probably doesn't uh, get you to, to win those big shows. And, and this pig from the side to me in terms of length of neck, length of spine, looks probably a little more abnormal in a positive way uh, because I think that thing's got one wild look uh, there from the side. Um, to have that kind of, you know, length of neck, length off of both ends, but then to, um, you know, kind of be shorter in terms of his spine. He looks like one to me that can get to those heavier weights uh, where you can get in those 270, 280 range and win those big shows come March. Uh, this is a neat one in uh, 203-7.